Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome to this brand new video. This one's a bit different from some other videos because it's not a tutorial, nor is it a time lapse. Today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I create my videos. I got a few questions and I thought it'd be a fun little video to do. And I'm just going to show you guys what I use to record, how I edit, etc, etc. So let's jump right in. So to record, I use Open Broadcaster software, otherwise known as OBS. It is a free software that I used to use to live stream on Twitch, and then I found out that you could record with it, and then I found out you could record HD with it, and I thought, hey, this is a lot better than using Hypercam. So this is what I use. Uh, if we go into settings here, I can just show you guys some of my settings for getting high definition video. You can go take a look at that and then yeah screenshot that or something I don't know and then that okay and then that's my video coding so if you guys want to get or try to get HD you can just pause the video and take a look at that and I, I like this software nice and easy to use constantly updated I just hit start record and it records audio it records the video really nice all is awesome really like it uh, I got you know I'll 10 out of 10, <laughs> sure, I'll say 10 out of 10. Um, this is my desktop, uh, you can see that I ever since I got a second monitor, my back my background's been a bit glitchy, so uh, yeah, it's um, this is just a picture I took one day when I was on a hike. Um, so now the background's fixed. Usually I'm a bit more organized than this, but I was trying to export Hexo shot and I was having some problems, so I got a lot of folders of that. Now. Before I jump into the editing process, let me show you guys my organizational process. So I usually organize my videos this way. Uh, I have Hey Pup, which is a podcast I do with a friend. Uh, pictures, so all thumbnails will go in here. This is all the thumbnails. I got Program with Parker thumbnails. I have Thomas Was Alone thumbnails, etc., etc. I also have my tutorials. I haven't used this folder in a little while because it's a bit messy and I've got updates which I haven't used in a little while too but that's how I usually organize my videos now let me show you guys how I edit alright welcome to Adobe Premiere Elements I use this to edit my tutorials I do have Premiere Pro and After Effects but I usually like to keep those for projects that really need that more intensive editing the thing about tutorials is that most of the editing is just either editing out uh, certain chunks if I have to get up and go do something really quick or if I just have to add in a video on top just in the background that's usually all the editing I have to do so Premiere Elements just keeps it quick and easy for me so usually I will import my media and now for people wondering I, I'm gonna be doing this a lot in the video I'll just show you uh, what I use to export so anyone who's wondering how I do it I'll just show you my exact settings I export all my videos as an AVC HD and more specifically the encoding is an MP4 HD 720p 24 frames per second so that way it's HD it's nice and smooth and you will notice that some of my videos are 1080p even though I export a 720p and I'll show you why that is in a second but yeah so this is what I used to edit usually it's just going here let's go to uh, what do we have here do we have any I think video files that's Doctor Who for a friend um, so we can just grab a random video here what do we have here um, anything good step events why not so this is step event video so I bring it into here I watch it, make sure it's all fine, add any text I need to add, and then I publish it as an ABCHD, and then that is that. That usually takes, depending on the size of the video, anywhere from 5 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on... The thing about HD videos is that they're quite large files, and it takes a while to make sure that they're all rendered out nicely, so you kind of need patience if you're going to go for HD. Now let's go take a look at how I make my thumbnails. Alrighty, so welcome to paint.net. This is the program I used to make on my thumbnails. I do have Photoshop, but I just 
I find paint.net a lot easier to, to use. I'm still trying to learn Photoshop, but uh, every time I try, I always end up rage quitting. I don't, I don't know why though. But yeah, so paint.net is where I do most of my things. In my Game Maker Language tutorial series, the background you see in that, kind of the spectrum of green, that is done in Photoshop. But yeah, most of the thumbnails I do are just, if I do final view, they're just 1280 by 720 photos and I usually go on the internet and find a cool background or I make one myself maybe screenshot the game we're making and I'll just do something like this and then usually if not always I will use the impact font for basically everything I love the impact font I don't know why I'll make it a really high and I'll do game maker and then let's go here and let's that's a little too big so let's make it 200 that's even slightly too big. Let's go 190. Perfect. So game maker, and then we can go down here and say, uh, what's what be a cool tutorial? Card game tutorial. Card game. We'll probably make this a bit smaller. And then here I would put a picture of like I don't know. We'll like a card or something, and then it'll be like card from Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering. And it usually doesn't, yeah, just because I'm really bad at all this. Yeah, so image editing is not my top thing, uh, which is probably why I use paint.net. It's user-friendly, and it's nice and quick and simple to use. I use impact for everything that I do. Let's just color this in, because why not? Uh, yeah, you impact, even in the videos, you'll see I use impact. Um, but yeah, so that's how I do thumbnails. Now let me show you guys a bit of the upload process. So... Now we're here, we're in Handbrake, and if you don't know what Handbrake is, it is a piece of software that basically takes your video file and compresses it down so it's a much smaller, smaller file size, and sometimes it'll actually improve the quality a bit. I don't know how it does it, I don't know what the magic is behind it, but it does the job amazing, and I love it. So usually what this involves is me taking a file, um... What's, what's a good one here? I don't think any of these will really do me. Okay, here, we got a video file of me. I don't know if this video will ever come out. Uh, we'll see the video that I'm compressing here. And it'll give its resolution, and then I will compress it, and it could go from a five gigabyte file all the way down to like 700 megabytes. It's amazing. That's why you see some of my videos are 1080p. It's just purely because sometimes Handbrake does its magic and makes it a lot higher quality. So that is that speeds up upload time. The thing with YouTube is that YouTube does not like large file sizes. So if you can compress it like this, it can cut off so much time off your um, upload speed and all that stuff. So I love it. It When I discovered it, I thought it was the most amazing program ever, and it's awesome. So that's about everything. Uh, you guys have you, you know, a lot of people, you know, I don't need to go through how to upload videos on YouTube because I think that's a little um, self-explanatory. You just hit the upload button on top of YouTube and then boom, you can upload the videos. I believe that's the whole process. That's everything you have to do. Uh, sometimes I have to do a bit of research for the tutorial. Just go through, uh, do the project and stuff, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Like, you kind of have to do that if, if you're going to be making tutorials because then you don't actually know what's going to happen in the video. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a bit about making tutorials in Game Maker, and I really hope, you know, if you feel like you have some knowledge to spread, just share it with the world. Everything, everyone can learn something from someone, so for sure, if you're in the mood, just go for it. Most of the, like Paint.net is free, uh, OBS here is free, and Adobe Premiere Elements is not free, but you can use Windows Movie uh, Windows Movie Maker if you like. You can use a program called VideoPad. You know, you just you know if you if you if it's something you really want to do, then just go for it. Anyways, I think I'm gonna bring this video to an end. So I, since I have no more video making knowledge to share with you guys, I don't have any updates either today, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm just gonna say if you enjoyed the video please let me know, and if you did enjoy the video, please let me know why not. I've got some awesome videos coming up, and I'll talk to you guys later.